Are those the grinder stones? Yeah. Oh, really? Amazing. Would that still be there? Yeah. You could go and try it out? Mm. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> but this still is. Okay, we're coming up to cave one here, and again, as we're walking through here, I'm going to try to explain features of each of the rooms where we're going to actually imagine that th this is exactly what these people were doing 700 years ago, okay? Now, we talked about footprints. So, one of the first footprints, the next footprint there that we're going to talk about is room size. And as you see there to the left, there's the outline of two rooms, and to the right, there's one. Now, seeing some walls missing, some holes. And we're going to talk all about, about that here in a minute. Is that it? Everybody here? Just couple a couple more? on the stairs. Okay. And you can see the sooty behind the mortar showing that how often these caves were used before the, uh, the Tolgarosa came here, okay? The Mogollon. Now, we're looking at the wall, of course they never built it to the top to allow smoke to come over. But look at this uh, T-shaped opening. This is actually the main entrance, and we call this a T-shaped door. Um, has anybody been to Chaco Canyon? Yes. Yeah? Good. So I've been there too. This, this ain't common to this area. This is a common feature to Chaco Canyon. Watch your head, folks. Do you know anything about the language in these people? No, they sure don't. Um, yeah, it's so tough, you know. Yeah, when you have no written language, uh, you have great people. Well, folks, the main thing I really want to talk about here is you all just walked up to somebody's room, okay? Now you see the room, you start to know that, first of all, by the size the footprint area we are talking about. And all rooms were roofed. You can see holes up there going in every direction. But the main focus of this cave right here is right here to my immediate left. I'm going to see you up there, just a little bit, so you can all be kind of close to the wall. There's a lot of these stuff I want to talk about here. Very important room. You notice the wall back there, how smooth it is? Mm -hmm. They would only do that for like communal type rooms. And up north they refer to communal rooms as kivas, okay? Now, and then now, if, it kind of makes sense now. You see these nice stone benches, probably a, a, a place of importance where the elders would come for a meeting, the fire's going, it's all roofed over. Very possible, okay? However, the other archaeologist says, no, 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 no. No. Folks, if you look right down here, you will see where there was a wall that extended all the way across mm -hmm. to that uh, portion of the mortar and wall right there. So, and that 
is very well possible there was a wall there, a fire pit in the two separate rooms providing warmth and heat for each dwelling space. The benches could have been used for laying on. I don't know for sure, but those are two theories that we do have in writing. Okay. It's not too small to lay down a stand, so we know it's not a storage room. It's a lot bigger than the little room we walk through, so we know this is a communal room, okay? And if you look at the walls, what do y'all see there? Mortar. Yeah, mortar. It's been smoothed out, okay, intentionally. And in fact, back there in that corner right there, where the gentleman is standing with the white hat, folks, there was three feet of bedrock coming all the way down to where the gentleman is in a blue shirt. So the residents here chipped away all that rock to ensure this room was flat. Okay, again, intensive labor. Oh wow. More and more credit to the residents for how smart they were, how they were thinking ahead. Any architects here? Good. No. <laughs> make something up. You're in luck. No, just gonna make up. Gonna make up a lot of stuff. No accountability, you know. Uh -huh. uh, no, serious. Uh, this is actually referred to as a planned tie. Okay. This means that they were building and building, and they had planned if they were to stay longer or have more people born into the families, that they could build out from here. Because yeah. if you build a wall flush against this mortar, it's just going to fall down. So if you have these ties tying into the wall, okay. it really st stability, okay? Now, this room right here, as you saw, there is a little pathway through there, and another pathway on the other side that leads to these rooms here. But there's no roof here. The floor is not finished. So they figured it might have just been like a courtyard, a hanging out place, you know? Don't know for sure. No artifacts were found in there, okay? Now, folks, we're going to come across here. There's a very narrow catwalk. Um, I absolutely understand if you need to for state stability that they did build this way because the, those, the ponderosas were older over there, just by a few years, not much. And then we start to see some chants, some advanced techniques going on here. The one being, we got two-story uh, development right here. And we know that because we see the vega sticking out from the side there, which tells us there's a roof inside there, okay? Now, the belief is, and believe me, this, that is a big room now. It goes back quite a distance. They believed that that was a living space for a single family, and down below was probably like a storage area, okay? And you see the top, you see a little vent. Did you see this though? Not too many people noticed this. These are called cupules. Somebody was actually working here while that rock fell down. I've found some, uh, like you've got down at the museum where they ground the corn. Yes, more than I thought that is. Oh, no kidding. Oh, jeez. Those are rare. Those were so special that the women were past them. Until warm weather would come up here. I thought about doing it a couple of times this winter right after it opened. Kind of 
So I came out to work on their place, and I thought, you know what? I think I'm just going to stay. So I did. Been uh, remodeling the 